it's another day with May where I create healthy alternatives to your favorite foods. If you like what you see here, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me and help me grow. Today we are making healthy strawberry donuts. Yay! All right, let's check out the ingredients. All right, first step, we are going to preheat our oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're going to add our dry mix into our bowl. Get your little cup here. And we're gonna measure out two cups of almond flour. One. Two. All right, followed by our baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Throw that in. Our low carb granular sugar. And then we're gonna give that a whisk. Now that's done, we're going to make our well. Now it's time to add in our wet ingredients. First up, we're gonna start off with the two tablespoons of butter. Pour that into the middle of the well. Followed by your two eggs. Oh, I did that with one hand. That was so cool. I've never done that before. <laughs> not gonna attempt it again. <laughs> I'm gonna take some of this strawberry puree and I'm just going to add it into the middle. But you don't wanna use all of it because you want some of that for your icing. You wanna leave about a tablespoon and a half for your icing, okay? Grab your maple syrup, pour some of that in, about a tablespoon. A teaspoon of your vanilla extract. And just a little drop of strawberry flavoring. All right, now I'm gonna mix all this up and we're gonna get our batter ready. All right, now I'm going to whisk in the dry ingredients. All right, now that that is all done, we're going to scoop the batter into our donut tray. So just take a big glob and throw it in. So these will rise, but they won't rise too much. So you kind of want them a little bit more than half filling your donut tray. And you just throw it in. Don't worry about that little middle bit. You can just kind of scoop around that with your clean finger and just kind of form it like this. All right, I've put the batter into the tray and I'm going to put them in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your oven. So let's go do that now. All right, so I've taken the donuts out of the oven and now I'm going to make the icing while those are just cooling down in the refrigerator. They need to be completely cooled before you put the icing on. So let's make the icing. First, you need to have your cup of chocolate, or white chocolate chips, I guess. <laughs> And then you need to take your avocado oil, pour a little bit in there, about two tablespoons. Mix all that up and then put it into the microwave for about 30 seconds. And you just gotta keep going 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, make sure you stir in between. All right, so I've melted my chocolate. It's nice and silky. Now I'm going to make my icing. This is my favorite part. So first off, I'm gonna take my strawberry sweetener and just add a little bit of that in there. Just a tiny bit, like a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm gonna mix that up. That just gives it that extra strawberry flavoring. And the great thing about using the white chocolate, it will harden onto the um, donut, but it won't, be, it won't be too hard. It'll be a nice glaze. So it just really helps. 
Now I'm going to add my powdered sweetener. So this is the Lakanto powdered sugar. I'm just using about two tablespoons. Don't worry if it clumps up a little bit, it'll all work out in the end, don't worry. I'm putting it in slowly though. So that's about two tablespoons all in there together, but I'm only gonna put about a tablespoon in at a time so it doesn't all clump up too quickly. Now that that's all mixed through, I'm going to take my strawberry puree. So I forgot to mention before, but the strawberry puree, you just need to put strawberries into a blender. I used about six large strawberries. You can use frozen as well. Just make sure they're defrost. But yeah, yeah you just put them in a blender and blend them up until they're smooth and it's super easy. All right, so I'm just gonna add in about a tablespoon and a half for now and see how we go with that. Mix that all in. And that will give it a really nice pink color. Okay, so do you see how mine is getting more paste-like? So now I'm going to add in just a little bit more oil, put it back into the microwave for about 30 more seconds, and it should help dissolve it a little bit better so then when I dip it in, it's not all clumpy. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'll be right back. All right, so now that my icing is a good consistency, I'm going to take my donut and just dip it straight in. And done. So I let them set in the refrigerator for about five minutes just so the glaze would stiffen up a little bit, but it's still nice and soft. So let's give it a try. Mm. Perfect. Check that out. Nice and fluffy in the middle and has that really nice strawberry taste to it, just like a strawberry donut should have. All right, I hope you enjoy this recipe, and until next time, see you later.